Hey everyone, today's video is about when Bakugo has anger issues and he gets mad at you. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. Bakugo's anger issues had always been a challenge in your relationship, but your love for him ran deep, and you were determined to help him overcome this obstacle. As lovers, you had faced many ups and downs together, and his temper was just one aspect of the complex person you cared for. One sunny afternoon, you were both in the kitchen, preparing lunch together. The atmosphere was light, and laughter filled the air as you shared stories about your day. You couldn't have asked for a better moment, but little did you know that it would take a sudden turn. As you reached for a spice of jar, your hand accidentally knocked over a container of flour. causing a white cloud to explode in the kitchen. Both of you froze, staring at the mess. You tried to suppress a giggle, thinking it was a harmless accent. But when you looked at Bakugo, his expression darkened, his jaw was clenched, and his fists were tightly balled at his sides. Bakugo, he said cautiously, It's just a little mess, no big deal. But instead of calming down, he seemed to grow angrier by the second. He was reacting so strongly, but why? How can you be so careless? He snapped, his voice sharp and accusatory. You always make a mess of things. His words stung, and you couldn't understand why he was reacting. So badly to a simple accident. Bakugo, it was just an accident. There is no need to get upset. But he was already storming out of the kitchen, leaving you standing there, bewildered and hurt. He decided to give him space, hoping you would cool down and return in a better mood. Minutes turned into hours, and you grew worried by his prolonged absence. He ventured into the living room to find him, only to discover him sitting on the couch, seething with anger. Bakugo, he began gently. Can we talk about what happened in the kitchen? He didn't respond, his gaze fixed on a point in a distance. He took a deep breath, choosing your words carefully. I understand that you might have been frustrated by the mess, but your reaction was way out of preparation. It was just floor, and it was just an accident as well. His fists remained clenched, but he finally spoke. His voice leased with irritation. You're always so careless, Wan. It's like you don't even think about what you're doing. You were taken aback by his words. Katsuki, that's not fair. I do my best, and I don't deserve to be spoken to like this. He looked at you, his anger momentarily giving way to a flicker of guilt. I didn't mean to yell. You sighed, sitting down beside him. I know you have your struggles with anger, Katsuki, but we can't keep letting it come between us. Like this. It's not healthy for either of us. He ran a hand through his hair, his frustration evident. I know, Ad. I'm trying, but sometimes it just gets the best of me. He placed a hand on his arm, offering support. We can work on it together, Katsuki. But you have to promise me, that you'll try to communicate without anger, especially when it's not warranted. He nodded, a sense of remorse in his eyes. I promise I don't want to hurt you. Over the next few weeks, the two of you made an effort to address Bako's anger issues. He researched strategies for managing anger, and he attended counseling sessions to learn healthier ways to express his emotions. It wasn't easy, and there were still times when his temper flared, but you both remained committed to the process. Your love for each other served as a powerful motivator to overcome this obstacle. As time passed, he noticed a positive change in Bakugo. He became more patient, and his outbursts became less frequent and less intense. It was a gradual transformation, but it was clear that he was making progress. One evening, as you were both curled up on the couch, watching a movie, 
Baku turned to you with a soft smile. Thank you for being patient with me, Wan. I know I still have a long way to go, but I'm working on it. You leaned in and kissed him gently. I love you, Katsuki. We'll face any challenge together. And as you continued your journey together, he knew that love had the power to heal wounds and help you both become better versions of yourselves. Anger issues and all. As the weeks passed, your commitment to helping Bakugo with these anger issues remained steadfast. Together, you and Bakugo develop deeper into strategies for managing his temper, attending counseling sessions, and working on open communication. One sunny weekend, he decided to take a break from the hustle and bustle of everyday life and planned a getaway to a cozy cabin in the woods. The secluded setting provided the perfect opportunity for relaxation and quality time together, away from the stress of the world. The cabin was nestled in a tranquil forest, surrounded by tall trees and the soothing sounds of nature. It was the ideal escape from the pressures of hero work and daily life, a chance to win and reconnect. On your first morning at the cabin, you both woke up to a gentle chirping of birds. The sunlight streamed through the curtains, casting a warm glow across the room. Wrapped in each other's arms, you couldn't help but smile. Baku nuzzled your neck, his voice soft and filled with affection. This place is great. Why, Anna, I'm glad we came here. He pressed a loving kiss to his lips. Me too, Katsuki. It's just what we needed. The day was spent exploring the forest trails, hand in hand. The serenity of the surroundings seemed to have a calming effect on Bakugo. His usual impatience and anger were replaced by a sense of tranquility, as he both enjoyed the nature. In the evening, you cooked a delicious meal together in the cabin's cozy kitchen. A far cry from the floor instant that had once sparked a heated argument. Baku's newfound patience and willingness to communicate without anger filled you with hope. As you sat together by the warm glow of the fireplace, you couldn't help but bring up the topic of his progress. Katsuki, I've noticed how better you have been at managing your anger lately. You said, genuine pride in your voice. He nodded. His gaze fixed on the dancing flames. I've been working hard. I don't want to hurt you. And I don't want to keep letting my anger control me. I'm really proud of you. You've come a long way. You leaned in and kissed him tenderly. I love you. And I love you too, Moyan. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye.